In our operation, uh, we're all no-till. So I put more hours on my sprayer than I do on anything else. And so um, it's probably the most important piece of iron that I have in my, in my inventory. You can spray when it needs to be sprayed. You don't have to wait on anyone. Usually you can buy your chemicals cheaper. You get it done when it needs to be done. You don't have to be sitting there waiting for uh, someone to come in and spray while the bugs are eating your crops up. It's a no-brainer in my, my situation. The advantage for us spraying ourselves has really shown the last couple years. Uh, we've started planting our soybeans earlier, so we're actually in a lot of cases planting soybeans before corn and definitely at the same time as corn. And we've got neighbors that are trying to do the same thing and working with a custom applicator. For those kind of situations, it's tough to get them to spray a corn herbicide and a bean herbicide at the same time. Giving us the ability to do that with our own machine has paid huge dividends. Not that custom applicators don't do a wonderful job, but there are just times where we feel like we know our, our land and our, our weed pressure and our situation better than maybe a custom applicator does. And uh, we can address those issues. And, and uh, if we want to spray a little bit today and, and around the edge of a field or do some cleanup stuff, we, we can go do that and have that flexibility. I get the timeliness. I get to spray when it needs done. I'm not sitting there, oh, we'll be there this afternoon and they get there a week later. That's the reason I bought my first Apache, because I just, I couldn't get it done when I wanted it done. Like I said, we farm a lot of small patches over a big area, and you know, when the co-op comes, they want to do 500 acres at a time, and sometimes that doesn't work out, especially if it's going to rain tomorrow. Well, it's really important for us to have control over our, our operation on timing of the spraying because it, sometimes the wind comes up and it just blows for days. So sometimes you have loads ready and it start at five in the morning to get your loads off and then you can spray till 10 or 11. Where the custom operators say they got 2,500 acres a day to do. If they don't get that 2,500, they got 5,000 next day. If they don't get that, they got 7,500 in three days of hard wind. I can wait and do timely applications under the right wind conditions because I'm in my own machines and, and then that goes into running loads off in the evening too. The ability to go out and spray when you need to, uh, you really can't put a number on that. Um, it's hard to. Uh, in agriculture, it's just when the time presents itself, we know that we gotta go. 